Welcome to Sonography Minutes. I'm Michelle McCauley, and we're starting a brand new ultrasound series. Your burning ultrasound questions answered. This is the first ultrasound question in our new series, and also one of the most common ultrasound questions that I get asked. Why does the ultrasound image appear to be upside down? So let's dive in and tackle this question. So let's answer this elusive question. Why does the ultrasound image appear like it's upside down? And we're gonna use the liver as an example for this. So when we're looking at an ultrasound image of the liver, it appears as though the image is upside down because the diaphragm is at the bottom of the liver in the image, where in real life, the diaphragm is above the liver. The diaphragm separates the chest from the abdomen. So one of the things to consider is when we're determining the orientation of an ultrasound image, we not only want to determine what slice are we taking through the body, so what transducer orientation, such as sagittal, transverse, etc., and where are our transducer notches, but we also want to consider where are our sound waves being directed. So if we hold our probe straight up and down on the patient in a perpendicular fashion, the sound waves would be heading straight down into the patient's body towards the spine. However, we can angle the probe multiple different ways to send the sound waves at a different angle through the body. So in this example, the transducer is placed subcostally at the bottom margin of the patient's liver. And for this example, we're in a transverse plane with the transducer notch pointed towards the patient's right side of the body. Note that the transducer is not held perpendicular, so it's not facing towards this patient's spine. If it was, the sound waves would be directed straight down into the patient's body, and we completely miss the liver. We wouldn't be able to see it at all in the image. So in this scenario, the transducer is angled up to send the sound waves up towards the liver. So the sound waves are going to be traveling upwards through the liver from the bottom of the liver to the top portion of the liver. And this is why the liver appears upside down in the ultrasound image, because we are essentially imaging the liver from the bottom of the liver to the top of the liver. When we're looking at an ultrasound image, the ultrasound transducer is at the top of the image. And the top portion of the image is composed from all the echoes that are returning from superficial depths in the tissue. And then over time, as the sound waves go deeper and deeper into the tissue and return reflections from deeper and deeper in the tissue, they'll send back the echoes from uh, deeper in the tissues and that will compose the bottom portion of the image. So the top portion of the image is the early or superficial echoes and the bottom portion of the ultrasound image is the deep or later echoes. So when we're looking at this, this top portion of the image shows the bottom portion of the liver since that's where the sound waves first started and then the sound waves traveled up through the liver and to, to the top portion of the liver and where the diaphragm is. And that also reflects in this ultrasound image. So the top portion of the image is the bottom of the liver where there's no diaphragm and then the sound waves travel all the way through the liver and hit the top portion of the liver where the diaphragm is. So let's go through a quick cheat sheet in understanding image orientation. So where the transducer is placed on the patient's body, so what side of the body is touching the transducer surface, that's going to be the top of the ultrasound image. So in this case, the surface of the transducer is in a subcostal plane or subcostal window and it's in a transverse plane and the surface is touching the anterior side of the patient. So the anterior surface of the patient is going to be the top of the ultrasound image, but it's also going to be the bottom portion of this patient's liver. So the bottom of the liver. Next, we want to figure out how is the transducer angled? So is the transducer angled straight down or is it angled up? Is it angled down? And in this case, the transducer is angled up towards the liver. So this is the direction that the sound waves are traveling through the patient's body. So what we also want to ask ourselves is what structures will the sound waves last encounter? And in our example, the sound waves will start out at the bottom of the liver, travel all the way through the liver, and the last thing they're going to encounter is the top of the liver and the diaphragm. And that's going to be what's at the bottom portion of our ultrasound image. And in this case, if we were directing the sound waves directly into the patient's body, we'd see the spine and it'd be the posterior portion of the, the patient's body. But in this case, since we're directing the sound waves up, the bottom portion of this image is going to be the top portion of the liver and the diaphragm of the
right above the liver. So now that we figured out the top portion of our image and the bottom portion of our ultrasound image, we wanna figure out the sides of our image. So we're gonna assume that this is standard image orientation and that the image orientation marker would be up here in the top left corner of the image. So we wanna ask ourselves, what part of the patient's body is the transducer notch facing? In this case, we're in a standard transverse plane with the notch facing towards the patient's right side of the body. So the active side of our image, which corresponds with our transducer notch, is going to be the right side of the patient's body. So where the transducer notch is pointed should correlate with the image orientation or active side of the ultrasound image. And then we also want to ask ourselves to figure out the other side of the image. What part of the patient's body is the side of the transducer opposite the notch? So in our case, the notch is not on this side. This is the opposite side of the notch. It's the facing towards the patient's left side of the body. And this is also the side without our image orientation marker. So it's not the active side of the ultrasound image. So this would be the left side of the ultrasound image. So the side opposite the transducer notch without the image orientation icon is going to be the side of the transducer opposite the transducer notch.